Okay, so I'll just open a brand new project to give you a little demonstration here. I think we talked about bicycle as an interface, didn't we? I think we briefly talked about that, and then there may be like a method in here called um, uh, shift gears or something like that. And then there might be uh, another one called accelerate, um, something like that. So we have these um, methods that are stubbed out. So if we have a class that implements the interface, so for example, let's say I have a class here called Acme Bicycle. This bicycle class implements bicycle interface, then this class would be responsible for implementing the methods of that bicycle uh, interface, which I have not done yet, so the compiler is unhappy and complaining. I want to talk a little bit, though, about putting variables in here. And you'll notice, first of all, that if I try to do something like this, it will not allow that. I, I mentioned to you that there are a lot of restrictions of what can go inside an interface, and one of them is that the only kind of variables you're allowed to have in here are constants. So that means that if I go like this, you can see that it expects it to be a constant. And so since it's a constant, it needs to be initialized. So if I go like this, now it's going to be happy. However, this is deceiving because it turns out that there are keywords here that are implied, but not explicitly written. And there are actually three keywords that are implied here without being written here. So let me ask the question slightly differently. Do you think it's possible for this variable to be private, for example. So here, it, it can't be private because if I implement this interface over here, no one will be able to use this variable. So that doesn't make any sense. So it has to be public by nature. And there's another keyword here, which is that we can't make one of these interfaces. We can't go like bicycle B equals new bicycle. That's not allowed because interface is like an abstract concept. You can't make these things. So this is actually static, and it's also final. Now, let me just remind you what these words mean. This, this basically means there's only one of them, and this is because we can't really make objects out of this, so that's why this is static. And final, as I mentioned to you just a few minutes ago, the only variables you're allowed to have in an interface are constant variables. And so these three words, public, static, final, whether you write them or not, are applied to all the variables inside an interface. That's just one of the rules of interfaces. One last thing I want to mention to you about interfaces. I told you that interfaces are not allowed to have any code in them. That's not exactly right. What started happening in Java version 8 is there's one type of very, uh, method that you're allowed to have in here called a default method. And you can see you can have a tiny little bit of co code in here in a default method. And I'm not going to get into today what these default methods are used for. It's a little bit complicated. But we'll learn a little bit more about them next year if you stay with me. Um, but for the most part, you can see that this is sort of uh, a partially built uh, class kind of a thing. Uh, in two classes from now, we're going to talk about another concept called an abstract base class, which is really uh, similar to the interface. And we'll talk about the similarities and differences. But right now, the key points that I want to mention, which I did not mention in our last interface class, is any variables you put in here have to be constant, and any methods you put in here with real code in them have to be labeled as default.